what's up guys uh, just got into a little trade here uh, I think I was running maybe 10 to 13 contracts and it took off and I scaled out um, let's see I got in around I think it was around 4508.75 and uh, let's see what that looked like down here there's a little bit of a buy side imbalance printed on the on the uh, footprint here, and this was a previous level for me that I had been watching. So when that held and that broke, I got in, and you can see we're up about 2,050 right now. Uh, this little area may fill in here, and I don't know where this can go. It's kind of the sky's the limit. Uh, I've got a stop at 45.10, and I have a take profit at 17.25 and 19.25. That would be 45.19. So, you know, we're just watching. Uh, I'd like to start trailing my stop behind these five-minute candles on the order flow. So 45.12.50 would be a good spot. Let's just see what that looks like. So there's this empty space here this could fill in really easy so I'm just gonna sit here at 45 10 50 and see if we get wicked out see if it does anything I'm just looking over here at the volume profile this is kind of a node or a peak high volume node and it's trying to fill in so this area down here could fill in really easy now there was a rotation happening and when that reversed, um, you can see right here, 45.08. So this is why I got in. I had this marked as a previous uh, rotation, this line here, and so I wrote it up to here because that was pretty much a given. And then I held a couple contracts to see if it would hold the line 45.13, and it did. So let's tighten this up, and I can just show you here. So I had gone short a little bit here, and it didn't do much, and it struggled a lot. The volume was really slow. You can see this peak right here. We dipped below it, and we had this long consolidation right here at the peak. And this was just not giving me a short entry. So that was my cue. Also, another cue to go long. So when we regained uh, 4508, um, 08 to 213 or 1250 was, was the given. So I rode that. And now I'm just holding a couple contracts. And I'm just going to manage these, see where they go. Over here, you've got 45.25 as the upper view out. Um, there is this edge right here, and this could this could halt any upward progress. Um, so I've got 45.19 just under this um, held ask right here at 3.14, which is pretty big. It's not. Gigantor. Let's see if there's any. Oh, here we go. Here's a 585 at 45, 24, 25. So that's kind of the the end of the line. Price is probably not going to go past that. Um, be nice if my trade went all the way up to 3,200. How awesome would that be? But um, no guarantees on that. So I just want to I just want to trail this. See if I can knock this down a little bit. Okay, so I'm turning that to 1, switching this to 1. I'm going to start trailing these a little more aggressively. So, oops, let's make sure that's a, a sell and not a buy. So, so I'm hiding behind this little liquidity void here that might act as support. That's at 514.75. And then we'll just see what happens. The hardest part about these is knowing, you know, when to exit or when to hold. Um, I'm looking at big map. I'm sorry, book map, and we've got a big volume dot, uh, implying there was a big, a lot of volume right there. So this stop is probably going to trigger. I should have that at. 1350 yeah so this this area right here could fill in real easily as well so I want to keep as much
profit. I don't want to get stopped out if possible, but I guess I could go down to 45.12. Yeah, there's still this liquidity pocket right here that could fill real easy. So that's not giving me a lot of confidence. We're kind of back testing the upper line of the rotation, and that's where we are. So just kind of holding, waiting to see what happens. If we get some volume to push here, that'd be awesome. I'm looking at the order, order flow front put. Bleh. Looking at the order flow footprint. That's a tongue teaser. Try to say that five times. Okay, so there's a buy side imbalance right here. Site here. This just looks like consolidation. A lot of sellers right there at 1250. So I want to make sure I'm below that. So I'm at 12. bunch of volume right here at 15 so that could be the volume peak or that could be the start of something I'm just watching to see what it's gonna do here I'm gonna pull book map in so you can see that and you can see there's just a ton of liquidity up here around 17 18 and 20 so for me, you know, 1950, 1925 is probably the, the, that's my target. I don't see much. You know, there's this great big block up here at 4525, but there's no guarantee that we get that. You know, the, the trick is to take your piece where you see it and then wait for continuation. Hold a runner if you can. So if I can hold a runner through... 18 we can get above 1850 you know who knows maybe we could target that 45 24 75 but for now I'm going to be happy with um, 1950 I've got it at 1925 just to be safe you can see these big volume circles appearing um, and then I'm watching the open interest here which is climbing this is what we want to see I want to see that three getting added to. So there is a liquidity void up here that uh, is being filled right now. So that's that's a good sign. Okay, so I'm about to stop out. I'm going to go ahead and push that higher. And let's move that up. Looks like 1450 held. So I'll keep a stop right there. What do we say? 24... 75 there's the big block of liquidity up there so I'll keep I'll keep a take profit at 2350 and then I'll just keep trailing these so locking in 2000 here and we're up at 2450 got a bunch of liquidity right here sell side so it's gonna have to burn through that um, Just watching to see if we get an ad here at 11. And I'm watching to see if the open interest, if it comes back down to the middle, that's okay, which is around 45.15. I'm just below at 14.50. Um, so that's still consolidation. But if it gets down here by the 75 lot, 69 lot, uh, I'm going to get out. And that's at 14. So I'm pretty happy with my stop right there. I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is. Go ahead and lock in 2100. Now the top of the trend line or the rotation structure line is still 4513. So this looks like a back test of that. At 1375 roughly if we could get all the way to 4520 that'd be amazing okay we're having some trouble here we're struggling we're back in the middle 
So 4515 is my hard out. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the the uh, footprint chart. And let's take a look at the auction vista. So right here you can see your uh, little bull flags, right? One, two, three. The rule is when the, the flagpole gets shorter, it implies the end of the run. As you can see, this flagpole is actually longer than the previous. Uh, I'm just measuring with my finger right now. And it's roughly the same if you count this spike right here. Um, so anyway, that implies some, you know, continuation. So once this clears about 17, I'm going to raise at least one of my stops to like 15 or 1525. You can see there's a little void right there, so that could feel. And what are we doing? More consolidation. There's a void right here, so that could dip down and fill that real easy. Um, if I ran a VPOC of this consolidation right here at, you know, 45.14 or so, um, this is the area of support that I'm, that I'm watching. This is the final target right here, 1975. I've got my take profit down here at 18. Uh, let's raise that. Oh, there's a bunch of sell side liquidity here though. Yeah, I can see there's a big strip of liquidity at 18. Let's see if I can see that on the DOM right here. So it's a 245 lot, 24600, almost seven, uh, almost a thousand lots right here. It looks like it wants to trigger. Let's raise this to 1950, which is right there. There's a little liquidity void that keeps peeking out, um, attracting price like a magnet. It's, it's saying, I'm right here, come and get me. Um, here we go. We're getting some volume now. So I'm front running this uh, 4520 with this 332 lot. And let's raise this up to 2350 what do we say 1675 I guess I'll go 1550 so locking in 23 there let's lock in 2200 for for real okay there's a big volume circle just appeared on the auction vista that's uh almost 600 lot buyers so this could be some absorption happening right here to 208 sellers it's one of the coolest features of the auction vista is when you click on the right click on the the volume circle you get it tells you how many buyers and how many sellers so you can see there are a lot more buyers right here at 1750 but if it doesn't get above that circle, that's a sign of absorption. So see how it's dropping down? So we got a uh, closed auction here, or a closed auction here at 1450. This is where my second take profit is, or profit stop. This is my first, uh, let's see, is right here at 1550. Let's throw a line on there just for, oops, I don't know what that is. So 1550. I'll color that blue because that's a take profit. So I'm going to hide behind. Uh, 1569 I know there's a joke in there somewhere I want to say it so bad but I'm just gonna keep it keep it clean keep it clean Clark
I'm looking over here at book map. Looks like we had quite a bit of volume at 4517. And just looking at the, the quotes delta here, we still have a, a buy side imbalance. Um, this is the end of the the volume profile in terms of the value area. So this is this gray area here is now the value area high. Um, so it's a low volume node. So the idea of this getting past, you know, 2050 is slim unless we get a lot of volume. But you can see it's it's stair stepping in its way up. So once this closes, I might bring one of my take profit stops a little higher. Again, this is a five minute chart. So let's go over here and just see how the progress is coming on the auction vista. There's my stop at 1950. Uh, that should, that's my take profit, I should say. So there's a couple volume dots. This one was all buyers, 600 at 254. This one was all sellers, 600 to 250. Okay, come on, is that that's got to be manipulation, right? It's the exact same number of buyers and sellers. So, are the market makers or whoever's pushing this run are they um, cementing this as the next level? Is this did that become support? Because that's wild, 250 to 600, and then the reverse, 600 to 250. <laughs> I think they're enforcing that as support, unless it gets under it, of course. If it gets under it, then it becomes resistance, and then we probably need to get out. But for now, just uh, managing this trade. I'm going to go ahead and roll up to 1650 for my stop. It does look like a slight rotation here, or a micro rotation okay we just got another volume circle popped up what's this buyers are still heavy here but that's absorption so it looks like we might be rolling over here it's a closed or the attempt of at a closed auction at 1850 or so got to push past this level so I've got my first profit stop just below the last wick. Um, I might should go a little lower with it, but my feeling is this is going to stop out. I've got this tightening happening here, constriction. So that's a good sign. It's coiling up. It's getting ready to do something. Okay, we're moving past these volume dots now, or attempting to. Still haven't got a close on this this candle you can see it's quite a bit smaller the range of this candle is smaller um, there's a bunch of liquidity at 19 and 20 so I don't know if we can blast past that or not but the open interest is is going it's saying there there's enough of open interest if they want to push higher there's definitely demand at this level so just watching here we're getting this little in attempt at an attention intention candle this might be a test of demand they're double checking just to see if like hey do you guys really want to buy this right here you sure <laughs> I'm like yes buy it hit my stop please and it's rolling over Are we going to stop out here? Most likely. So I should be, I'm going to go ahead and give it one tick just in case. This area is probably going to fill this empty zone right here. That's a liquidity void. Very common for that to fill. So unless these buyers can push this up. The buyers are looking stronger, but they've been looking stronger for a long time. And there's a lot of a lot of voids have been created that need to be refilled. So right now we're looking at 
190 to f minus 20 on this on the delta so we're still getting buyers adding and we're seeing a lot of polling or a small amount of po polling we need more polling for this to push higher now we're seeing some sellers so I'm just watching this bid column I want to see ads higher than a hundred I want to see them protecting these little liquidity voids they're still struggling at this level so waiting for this candle close this feels like the longest five minutes of my life Jesus um, okay we're getting some volume There's a whole bunch of liquidity here that's just acting as as a ceiling. So I don't know if this can push past that or not. It's going to take a big burst of volume to get there, if it does. And this longer consolidation kind of implies exhaustion to me. Unless, you know, we see some more buyers coming in. Okay, so we got 230. Still seeing some polling. We're right here at value area high, you know, so this is the low volume node area where this can act as a ceiling and it's fighting, it's right at the line. Looks like we're going to roll over a little bit here. Just looking at the, the rotation. not seeing strength here seeing sellers coming in real heavy 660 lot sellers that's a big one what's gonna happen okay so we got a candle close here we did not get a closed auction lower um, we did get a high volume of sellers there so somebody somebody was taking profit we're still consolidating. We've got a liquidity void just under my take profit. So that's promising. That's going to act as a magnet. There it goes. Price is going up to it. I'm going to go ahead and let this one trigger <coughs> if it goes. It's awful close. Just watching this liquidity void right here. Um, starting to get more buyers <coughs> excuse me great big volume circle on the book map heat map here is it going to trigger looks like it wants to it's right there jeez so I'm going to go raise my stop under that uh, where that 469 this seems to be whoever's taking profit they're taking it in the almost 500 lot amounts so 492 still got a little void right there that wants to fill I should be at 1650 okay just watching here see if we're getting some ads and seeing some ads come in on the open interest it's not moving fast though we want some speed to come in there's a little five lot at 1925 and I'm at 1950 okay, it's 15 lots at 1925 there's a little ad not a lot we need more we need that 15 to, to get bigger let's see what we're looking at here on the dom a lot of sellers fighting back oh we're so close huh still a liquidity void right there getting a little push and that took my take profit awesome so I'm gonna close this guy out and we are locked in at 2500 
I'll give it 25, 12, 50 just to cover the fee. And let's see if we can get to 24, 25. So I've got a, my next take profit is at 45, 23. I'm expecting some <laughs> sellers or some profit taking here. I don't know if we're going to keep adding or what. Okay, so we're getting a big buy side imbalance. If this holds and price breaks above this, that's a good sign for higher. Um, I'm just going to mark. So we've got 2450. There's a 600 lot. Let's go ahead and mark that 2450. And then at 2350 is my take profit. So 2350 right there. And then I'm going to raise my stop. Should be at about 15.75. Okay, so I'm going to hide behind this buy side imbalance that's printing on the tape. So let's just count these. We got one, two, three, four. So these are 200% larger on the ask than on the bid side. I like to see about eight of these on a real uh, control c candle. This looks like an attempt to do that, which opens things up. I mean, I'm holding for 44, gosh, I could go to 44, 24, 50 according to book map right now. Let me just show you what that looks like. So we got this liquidity right here, 44, 24, 50. That's the end of the road. We need buyers to step in right here and start filling that 40. And we're getting a lot just underneath 260 to 400. Getting some cells coming in. You can see there's a big, there was a big volume dot. It just disappeared. So sellers jumped on that. 226 at 4526. Okay, let's just have a look at the auction vista again. So there's the next resistance is right there at 4522. So if we can break that, then I'll go ahead and raise my stop. In fact, I'm going to raise my stop up to 18 so locking in 26.50. And let's just see where this is headed. We're bumping up against resistance here. The next void is up to 22.75. So let's just mark that 22.75. I'm just going to do a asterisk V O I D. Okay, I'm going to push higher. Where's that 600? So I'm going to front run that 600 lot, the way things are moving. Let's lock in 2700. Let's see, this should have me at 45, 20, 25. And I'm not there. But I am more than happy with 2700 profit. So 2629 is the upper VWAP band. And we have not been able to break that all session. Um, so that would be interesting if it if it does manage to break through all this liquidity. It's doubtful. But I'm going to want to raise this. 45, 30, 29, 45, 26. I mean, it just wants to go. I say 45, 30. Hmm. So I should be raising my stop to 2150. There is a void right there, so I want to avoid that. Avoid the void. Ha. Huh. So I'm at 21. 
So I'm just kind of trailing between behind the each liquidity void because that shows me the bottom. That shows me where people were taking profit and sellers got absorbed right there at that 402, which happens to be 21.75. So I'm just a couple ticks beneath that. Here's another one happening here. This one might fill. And it price is rolling over here. Got 23.75. There's a good chunk of liquidity right there. Not a lot of buyers underneath. So 23. What did I say? 23.50. I'm gonna just put a exhaustion. That's where I see it getting tired. So it needs to blow past that. Okay, so what do we get here? 840 to 340. That's that's a lot of buy volume. Oh, here's another one. 826 to 270. Okay, buyers are coming in strong, we but we need to be a, above that. If this falls underneath, that's that's absorption. Let's see how this looks up here on the order flow. Yeah, so this could come back and, and retest this, this area, which is 1950. My stop is at, uh, should be at 2050, 2025. So we still have that big lot, 600 at 24.50. So let's see if we can blow through that. We're getting volume. Volume is coming in strong here. Um, 358 lot at 45.23. So I'm just gonna mark that with a B. We got buyers. Because of that, I want to lock in 2800 at 2150. So 2150 right there. So there's a closed auction right there, closed auction right there. So this zone is decent for a stop. Six hundred and seventy-five lot went right at 22.75 so this could fill I'm gonna go ahead and lock in 28.12.50 because that'll cover the cost of the contract that extra 12.50 this is kinda the end of the line <coughs> right here that 600 lot it's going to take a lot of work to to get past that Let's see if we got juice a lot of sellers came in and I'm just hiding hiding behind these two right here 190 200 lot you can see that highlighted on the bid side of the dom there's a little void here so I'm just hiding behind this hiding behind the uh, elephant I think is what they call that although 200 lots is not a great size elephant 200 uh, it keeps filling though so there's some icing happening there that's good my hand is off the mouse I am just gonna sit on my hands here and let this fill as tough as that is, I think we're done. Look at all this liquidity up here. Got a little rotation happening here. I mean, I guess I could go down. Nah. If this looks like a rotation. I could hide under 2050. But we've come so far. A lot of sellers in this range. 
So I'm at 2175 with my stop. Let's color that red. Is this a bull flag? I wish it was, but that's that's hopium right there. Um, looking at book map. 2250 is kind of the bottom where there's um, support. And there we go. There's 200 lots came in again. A little more icing happening there. Let's see if they can keep coming in. The whole lot of resistance. Look at that. Just stacked. Getting a little push here. This is definitely like a, a mini rotation here. I'm just going to move this line up so we can see the bottom. So that's it at about 22.25. I definitely don't want my stop to be above that. Um, maybe even a little lower. So I'm at 21.75. If this whooshes back down, then it'll wick me out. But that's okay. We've locked in some profit. Kind of moving slow here. Oh, there's my alarm. That's my alarm to get out. Oh, this is a nice nice move the top of the VWAP is about 4527 right here 3075 oh sorry um just not seeing an opening we need to get some polling for that to happen and we're back down here at 2275 yeah this is going to wick down i'm tempted to move my stop down a bit but like I said, we've come this far. I don't want to lose any profit. 800 lot sellers. 270 buyers just came in. 286. Okay, we got 246. Uh, 100 lot. You can see how flat that that top is there. Um, that has to break. So let's see if it can break. I'm just seeing a lot of sellers. Sellers down to 21.25, and I'm probably going to stop out here. See if these guys are adding. What are they doing on the on the ask side? I'm just looking over here at the visual the histogram of the um, ask and bids you'd want to see a bunch of bids coming in and you'd want to see the red asks sh shrinking to get some polling so um, we're not seeing that kind of seeing the opposite look at that thousand sellers just printed you know but this is still kind of a bull flag shape so who knows This could also retest this buy side imbalance area. It's not that heavy or strong. So I'm seeing a lot of sellers. Sellers are in control here. I'm going to come back down to that line. And I think we're going to stop out. There's a low volume node at. I'm going to stop out. Let's go ahead and take profit. There we go. Nicely done. All right, guys. Uh, if you've enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and uh, happy trading out there. I will catch you guys on the next one.